Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining. Um, I got a little request from uh, a guy named Vicky Gupta over on the YouTube comment section and he asked if I can show you the uh, recording to a laptop via USB without compression and EQ, basically without um, processing. And it's not very hard. Uh, I show you and I hope you like it. Have fun. Okay, first things first. If you want to record through the USB port, you have to um, first of all say which one do you want to use. Do you want to use the SQ drive uh, on the front of the mixer or the SQB on the back? And to uh, look up what you need to do, go to setup and there is under audio there the um, USB tab. Um, and as you can see, there you can change the uh, USB modes. And right now I'm on SQ drive and I can switch that to USB B and don't forget to hit apply. Um, if you don't do that, you won't hear anything to your USB B if SQ drive is chosen and vice versa. All right. And here you can also choose uh, since firmware 1.5 if you want to record on uh, 96 kilohertz or if you want to say, let's do 48. Um, I don't think that sound is, that, that the sound is so much different, uh, but you save a lot of space on your, on your discs, on your, on your drives. Okay. Once that is set up, you go back and in the routing menu, uh, you will find the direct out settings. Okay. Oh, let's do it again. There they are. Okay. And, here you can say, and this is a global setting, that means it goes not for this single channel, MBL, which is an ambient microphone, um, it goes for every channel. So this is uh, hence the name global. Okay, and here you can determine if you want to take your um, your signal right behind the uh, um, uh, XLR, basically right behind the preamp, this is post preamp. And there is no processing whatsoever included in that. And you can have all these different uh, tap points, as you can see, behind the uh, low cut or high pass filter, behind the gate, behind the insert, behind the uh, PEQ, the parametric EQ, behind the compressor, or behind the delay. For um, uh, the purposes of just recording and have no um, processing um, whatsoever on the recording, this is the right one. Use post preamp. Okay. And... Um, you don't want those recordings to follow the faders and most of the times you don't want the mutes to be recorded as well because you can do that after the fact in your DAW of choice. Uh, when, you, um, when you notice that some of the channels um, have a too low volume because the gain is not right for the recording, you can you have a digital trim right here and you can uh, change it with, your, with a touchscreen uh, uh, touchscreen selector uh, knobby thingy uh, turn twisty and you can adjust the levels there so make a make a test record once look which uh, and this is not global by the way this is global this is just for that channel so as i said check your levels uh, re do a test recording and see which channels you need to ha have more a little bit more gain on a little not gain a little bit more output okay um I think that covers it. Um, if there are any more questions or if I missed something, uh, please tell me. And um, hit the like and the subscribe button. And uh, I would also uh, um, be uh, erfreut. This is, this is very strange if you miss some words. Um, um, I would be, I would be, I would be enjoyed. I would be, I would be happy to hear from you what you think about the videos, about my channel uh, and so on. Okay, but till then, have fun, bye bye.